For those of you who skipped that two minute video, and it took a lot shorter than I thought it would, uh, we ran through, we found uh, a secret thing. I got uh, one of those colored bottles. And I'm running back for a reason, I'll show you. Uh, I got one of those colored bottles of uh, fusion or whatever. And some lockpicks. Uh, as I was running through, I noticed that uh, all of this was open. And this is fun stuff that I missed. So I figured we'd do this in the main. Main recordings. Feel better already. The fact that they've got a bottle of Raven here confuses me. <laughs> Oh, I also got a voxophone. So, uh, you're gonna hear the voxophone that I didn't listen to on the other recording. I came to Columbia because I believed in God and because I believed in honor. But Slade has shown me this. There is no God in shutting our brothers out from the family of man. And there is no honor in defending those who are strangers to its meaning. Perhaps in Finkton there is one more deserving of my service. That was a fascinating video, I promise. So, so interesting to watch. So glad we watched that video. Sorry, it looked like there was a, uh, I don't know if you can see that right there, that blue, looked like there was a piece of armor over there. Alright, on with the story. Man, that detour took longer than the other video did. down here. I treat them like animals. To tax the black more than the white, is that not cruel? To forbid the mixing of the races, is that not cruel? To give the vote to the white man and deny it to the yellow, the black, the red, is that not cruel? But is it not cruel to banish your children from a people have done to deserve to be locked up in a place like this? Think don't need much of a reason. No. No, he doesn't. And what is Columbia if not the schoolhouse of the Lord? No mercy. We can listen to Comstock be racist again if you want. I don't what? care. Elizabeth. Seems easy enough. Oh, 
that. It's done. This current script isn't much. Oh, that looks like fun. Huh. We'll take that. Fortunately, I don't always remember what I have. That cost me some lockpicks. This one won't. find it interesting that the cells start at uh, 6. So we'll listen to him where he to tax the black the more than the white. Is that not cruel? To forbid the mixing of the races. Is that not cruel? To give the vote to the white man and deny it to the yellow, the black, the red. Is that not cruel? But is it not cruel to banish your children from a perfect garden? Or drown your flock under an ocean of water? Cruelty can be instructive. And what is Columbia if not the schoolhouse of the Lord? There you go. This seems right up your alley. <sighs> Child's play. This is it, isn't it? Yep. Number nine. There you go. Do it? You're a lion. But you can't blame me for looking after my own interests, can you? Now I know Fitzroy has come calling, but I think you'll find your business with her has come to an end. <laughs> lions walk with lions, do it? Not hyenas. Why we expected him to be alive? We're too late. God damn it! This is what he meant. Now we need to find someone else to make those guns. No. Dead is dead, Elizabeth. Dead is dead. What? How the hell did? I see heads. And I see tails. It's all a matter of perspective. Why are you following us? Who sent you, Comstock? What do you want? What do you see here, from this angle? Dead. Listen. And that angle? Alive. Walker. Chen Lin. The body's gone. It was never here. It's another Columbia. A different Columbia. The same coin. A different perspective. Heads. Tails. Dead. Alive. We have to go through. To this other Columbia, but... It's like riding a bicycle. One never really forgets. One just needs the courage to climb aboard. Shall we? If we go into the stair, I don't think I'll be able to bring us back. Are you sure you're ready? Okay, open it. No blood. And no body. It's another world, Booker. Another Columbia. Something tells me one dead gunsmith ain't the only thing that's changed. Welcome to part two of Bioshock Infinite.
That's funny. Apparently we picked the lock in this universe too. how Chen Lin is alive now. We're in a world where he was never murdered. Somewhere we'll find out why, I suppose. I don't suspect you can change something like that and have everything else remain the same. anything waiting for you to come out. That man we just fought. In the other world, he was the one who was strung up on the wall. In the other world? This whole business makes my head hurt. That won't take but a minute. Ready. Want to hold on to this? Nice. Like we missed this last time we were here.
Someone there. Halt. Come on, then. That's it. Fire! <sighs> and giving you the job. Do you hear anything? Huh? No machines. No tools. Let's go find that gunsmith. Maybe he's upstairs now. Booker, look. The shrine. It's a figure of Comstock now. Uh, Mr. Lin? Chen Lin? Excuse me, Chen Lin? Who are you? You speak up! Speak up! Can't hear you over all these machines. Very loud. I'm Booker DeWitt. Stand back. These machines very dangerous. Wait downstairs with Mrs. Lin. Uh, Daisy Fitzroy sent us. We need to talk to you about getting some weapons. Machines very dangerous. No place for stupid people. Want to lose pretty head? Mr. Lin. Downstairs. What is wrong with him? Remember him dead in that cell? Maybe in... In some way, he remembers that, too. How would you reconcile that? He'll like that oh. Calm his troubled thoughts. Excuse me, ma'am. I'm looking for Mrs. Lin. I'm Mrs. Lin? No, I, I mean a little <clears throat> Chinese lady. She was... Booker, this is Mrs. Lin. They took Chen's tools. What's he got without his tools? Well, your husband is a bit out of sorts. If he could work again, maybe if, if he could work, he'd... Mrs. Lin, can you tell me who took your husband's tools? Goddamn police. They took them and locked them up in the impound in Shantytown. Huh? Would having his tools back fix his mind? Who cares? We're not getting any guns if Chen Lin doesn't have his tools. Let's head to Shantytown. Did you notice? Lin had a bloody nose. Seems to be in style. This terror. I'm not so sure it was a good idea.
That's one of my favorite things about this crow trap. Because it leaves traps behind. Anytime the game is trying to ambush me. I got traps lying everywhere. Need money? Okay. mystery to me as anyone else. Maybe Songbird knows, but he's not talking. I'm, I'm sorry. What for? I get to wear this stylish thimble to cover up my hideous deformity. I hear they're all the rage in Paris. from my guns.
And this is the end of this one. Oh, you must think me some sort of freak. I'll listen to this conversation. A girl who can bring dead men back to life. Whose only acquaintance is a, a giant bird creature. I must seem ridiculous. You just got dealt a bad hand. I am not going back to that tower no matter what happens. They won't stop until they have you. Why? What did I do to them? You frightened them. Good. This is what they want. Alright. To keep you so hungry. See you next time. You